It is called good mood food. They're gonna go wild. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh is good mood food. That was a ton of salami. <laughs> <laughs> that is a salad. More flavor, more nutrition, more joy, more color, more excitement. This is good mood food. You know those Italian salads that you find at restaurants that are just absolutely bursting with color and flavor? Well, that's exactly what this salad is, except we're using Brussels sprouts as the base. Shredded Brussels sprouts to be exact. And I love doing that because they hold their texture and their crunch for literally days, which means you can meal prep this or even make it the night before for a party and then just roll it out. It's delicious. It's packed with zestiness. There's a little sweetness in the dressing. It's got protein thanks to chickpeas and it is simply fabulous. This is an AK recipe fan favorite. So you guys need to make it. Let's get into it. We're starting off with a zesty, zesty Italian dressing. I'm using this amazing Graza olive oil, which I'm kind of obsessed with. If you haven't tried it, you must. A little red wine vinegar. I like to add a little bit of honey to sweeten this, but you could also add some sugar, just a teaspoon or two. Dijon for that zestiness. Italian seasoning for that Italian zest. Garlic, and then we're just gonna use kosher salt and pepper to taste. Personally, I'm a fan of just using a ton of black pepper in all of my recipes. It's like my favorite thing ever. So, have a good time with it. Whisk it all together until it is well emulsified. And you can taste it, add more sweetener, add a little red wine vinegar if you want a little more punch. You do you, baby boo. Next, we're going to do our Brussels sprouts. And I don't have the food processor, so I gotta go get that. <laughs> the Brussels sprouts are one of my favorite parts about this dish because they add the most delicious crunch to the salad. And I love using them in place of regular lettuce in a lot of my salad recipes because they will hold that crunch for days. So with these Brussels sprouts, you're gonna cut off the end. And then if there's any like weird outer leaves, you can simply remove those and discard. And that's it. And then you're gonna add them to your food processor with the slicer attachment on. And just get those going. <laughs> Brussels sprouts are obviously very nutritious, which is one of the reasons that I like to use them in the recipe, just for a little good mood food punch. They do add more nutrition than a regular lettuce would. And like I said, this is all about that crunch, baby. You're gonna surprise people with flavor. You're gonna get people who f hate Brussels sprouts to love Brussels sprouts. One of the reasons that I started my website, Ambitious Kitchen, is because I wanted to invite people to get more ambitious in their own kitchen, whatever that means for them. And I think one of the things that does it for me is always including more nutrition in my recipes. So adding nutrition versus taking it with, uh, versus taking it. <laughs> Yeah. So adding more nutrition versus taking things out of your diet or removing the things that you love. So Brussels sprouts are an easy add for salads that boost the nutrition in the salad themselves and also makes it fun. You're getting a little bit ambitious in your kitchen. All right, so some of these guys didn't totally get in there. That's totally fine. You can just discard those. Goodbye, little sis. So you're gonna add this to a big bowl. Just dump it in there. Hello. All right, dressing. You're gonna pour this all over those Brussels sprouts. And then the thing about Brussels sprouts is kind of like with kale where you have to kind of massage the dressing in. So I want you to do that for just like two minutes, work it in there, and that will help the flavor of the dressing to really absorb into the Brussels. So I love all of the vibrancy that this salad has. We're talking tomatoes. You can use grape or cherry here, and you're just gonna have them and then just throw them into the salad. Obviously, this is a perfect summer salad, but sometimes I like to make this in the middle of winter when I just need some extra delicious veggies in my life and I feel like I've just been like living off sweets and brown foods. Add all of those tomatoes. We're also adding some red onion. You could also use pickled red onion if you don't like a really zesty punch. 
chickpeas for protein. You could also use cubed chicken, but I just love the texture of the chickpeas. I think they bring a really interesting element to the salad. Call them out of olives, or you could use black olives, banana peppers. Love, 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 love banana peppers. The more the merrier. Provolone cheese. A true Italian salad involves provolone cheese. So you can just cube that. Here's the deal. If you're vegetarian, you don't have to add the salami, but I love the saltiness that it brings. I'm just gonna slice it, chop it, do whatever, whatever's easiest for you. And you can really do as much as you want or as little as you want. Also, if you want to keep this recipe uh, dairy free, you could just leave out the cheese. Totally fine. Like, holy shit. That is a salad. That is a beautiful, vibrant salad that anyone would want to eat. Show up at a party and people are gonna go buck wild. They're gonna go wild. <laughs> Toss it together so that the flavor of that dressing on the Brussels really absorbs into everything else. I'm sorry, but like, this looks like something you would have at a restaurant, right? And then I like to hit it with a little, or a lot, of black pepper. Now here's the deal. This salad came together in about 20 minutes from start to finish. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's everything you could want in a salad and it is guaranteed to put you in a good mood. I love to finish this salad off with a little bit of parm and that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is good mood food. That was a ton of salami. <laughs> <laughs>